Is this Matt and what's I mean, his name, Steve? They made it. That many rooms. Hell yeah. It's not about rooms. It's about power. That building has one purpose, to say I'm the queen and you are my subjects. The queen might look like a nice old lady, but she comes from a long line of tyrants who all thought they were better than the rest of us. Oh no, oh no, oh no. They just cannot escape danger. Thank you, Maddie. Was that the, wait, what? Was that the garbage bag that he flung into what we thought was outer space? Ah, uh, yeah, great transition there from, from burger meat to this. So there's just so much to say about that, that ending scene, less episode. The more I think about it, the more genius I think it was. They just set you up so perfectly for it. The way they introduce the Justice League type characters, it really feels like you're in it for the long haul. You get to know them. Briefly. Very briefly. Later on after watching it, I was thinking about Omni-Man and how there were a couple of things that set up this ending scene. One is the fact that he punched Mark in the chest, right? And he said that you're... Your enemies or whatever are not going to hold back. And the reason that he's currently lying here on the ground like this is largely because of all the punches he took to the chest from Flash or whatever. And in the last episode, what made me want to believe that this was like a doppelganger or a clone or mind control or something like that was that really beautiful speech he gave to Mark about doing the right thing, doing the things you know you have to do. After watching the end scene, another take on that is like him talking to himself, trying to prep himself mentally for doing this for who knows what reason. Maybe it's possible that he's a different kind of hero, like there's a Superman type hero and then there's the just normal Earth type heroes, and he might see the emergence of heroes in society as a bigger threat than it's worth. So a lot to think about. And we've also seen he has sort of a cold streak, like a dark streak. The fact that he would hit his kid that hard. The thing he said to his wife, there's something dark about Omni-Man. Or it could just be his mustache. Who knows? People are going to notice these heroes are gone though, no? It's kind of a big loss. The Justice League is just out. Gone. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ is right. He just said I used to worship these guys, right? But can they be brought back to life or something? Thanks for that. That's two episodes in a row with vomiting. Oh, they can... Oh! Maybe they can save them. She's somewhat unsatisfied in her marriage. <laughs> But, you know, there's bigger problems afoot, you might say. Who makes one piece of toast? Something about that just seems immoral. You didn't come home last night. Mom, stop worrying. You probably got buried under no, a mountain you, again. You, sh or you should worry. It's way worse than you think. He is the mountain. My dad never mentioned you guys. That's the idea. We work with superheroes like your father to keep the world safe. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll even work with... What was that? That was a very abrupt cut. Did my video just skip or something? What the hell? I'm a little bit confused about how to read this. What do they think happened? And the idea of keeping the world safe could mean so many different things. Like, from what we've seen so far, the danger is Omni-Man. <laughs> Which is really cool when you think about it. You know, I'm not the biggest comic book person. I don't know that much about superheroes, but I feel like this is something that's often teased about Superman. Superman has the potential to be a threat to humanity, but because he's Superman, he ultimately isn't. This is really cool because it seems like Superman is. Like, Superman is the threat. Although I really don't know. There's a lot of mysteries left here. Who did this? We have no idea. Not yet, anyway. But we'll find out. And when we do, they're gonna look a hell of a lot worse than your dad right over there. I feel like they, they probably figured it out, no? They didn't see it. They can put two and two together, no? Someone murdered the Guardians of the Globe last night. Oh my god. All yeah. of them. Tore them limb from limb. And we tried like hell to bring him back, but no one was the only survivor. How is that even possible? Oh, wow. Well, there goes that. Who knows what they want, for that matter. There's some kind of attack happening downtown, it seems. Numerous contacts, heavy weaponry, multiple casualties. Now? We're a little understaffed in the hero department. And you would imagine this would totally change the world, too, if, like, the Justice League is just gone, right? Which means time for Sulky Mark to step up. He had a very quick origin. That first episode covered a lot of ground. <sighs> They're really making a move. They're going full Avengers here. Get it together, Mark. Get it together. Get in there. You're invincible, right? Nice. <laughs> Stop. Get away. At least they have Stormtrooper aim. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Seems like it hurts less than Daddy's punch, at least. Oh, shit. Get it together. <laughs> no! 
Is that his first kill? Is she alright? Is she alright? Is she alright? She's not alright. She's not okay. It's harder than it looks. Yeah, yeah, you, you figured that would happen a lot, right? With superheroes? Things like this would happen all the time. New hero. I don't know who you are, but it's time. I wonder how many of them go. there are. Oh, good, a new group of people for Omni Omni Man to kill. Three enemy tanks will align 50 degrees to your right. I got it. <laughs> Thanks, C three PO. That's pretty cool. Keep doing what you are doing. <laughs> oh, thanks for the support, C three PO, or whatever your name is, robot. Yeah, he's not ready for the big leagues yet. He's a good boy though. He's just, he's trying to help. I don't know why I feel so bad for Mark. Like, he's just so teenager. <laughs> he just feels out of place and unprepared in just so many levels, which is kind of cool. Which makes sense, you know, like in other hero shows, they go to high school for this, you know, and they do internships, etc. I love this power, this duplication thing. Oh my God, did she just die? That was really poorly timed on my part. Okay, it's just her. We gave people time to escape. That's what matters. Uh, no. Me living is what matters. <laughs> At least he's honest. Oh, is it Hans McGee? Some kind of remote decaying power? Or do they run out of time? I guess we'll see this guy again. I tried my best. I tried to be like Dad. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, he's just not ready at all. Like, he's not emotionally ready. He's not physically ready. I'm remembering that scene last episode where, like, Mark got his groove back. By the end, it feels like things are starting to go right. You know, he's flying around and this triumphant music is playing. And now here we are. He shows up to his first big engagement and can barely save one person if if he even did that. In that episode, I was talking about how I live with those moments of clarity and purpose. But life has a way of handing you your own ass, you know, like, really quickly, too. And it's especially poignant to me because he's not even really doing it for himself. Or, like, he hasn't found what it means for him yet. He's trying to be daddy and he's the furthest thing in his own mind from that because he's comparing what he's doing to this like well-established figure the framing of it is going to be binary for him it's going to be like my dad or failure but in that context he's of course doomed to fail because his father's had how many years of experience it's hard to keep that in mind sometimes that people who are great didn't emerge great even though it seems that way it's just that you don't hear about them until they're great sort of so you don't see the trials that they went through and so the fact that you're going through trials can easily be misinterpreted as like not having the ability you know what i mean especially for like teen mark you know who's like not the not the most put together person how do you like focus on class after this just drop out hey hey all right the second time was on purpose <laughs> mark mark's not mark. here right now whoa mark's still in the hospital okay? my dad um he got attacked what you're kidding right not to mention the vulnerability he's seeing in his in his hero i'm here for you Whatever you need. It's a good you friend. Want to talk? I'll listen. You and Debbie need a lasagna? I make a good one. <laughs> Actually, true friend right one. there. Eve Wilkins. Dude, what? did you just ignore his lasagna offer? You and all the other straight boys in a 10 mile radius. Oh, good she's. With that. Oh, she goes to his school. Thanks for saving my butt back there. Yesterday, I mean. Maybe she doesn't yesterday. recognize him. Oh. He has those goggles on. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. You. <laughs> I'm, um, invincible. <laughs> He's so yeah, proud of that name. That sounds dumb when I say it like that. No, it's it sounds awesome. a little optimistic. It's cool. I like it. Do you want to talk about yesterday? Very observant. Need to talk about yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He just let Todd hit him like twenty times. He didn't flinch or anything. Oh, he's getting a reputation. You're the reason Todd beat him up again. I mean, Todd didn't really beat him up. Todd beat himself up using Mark's chest. I even followed Teen Team on Instagram. That's us. Everyone's fourth favorite superhero team. <laughs> I like you so guys there are others. better than Fight Force. Oh, we're definitely better than Fight Force. Those guys are the worst. They got their asses kicked by the Lizard League last year. How embarrassing. The Lizard League? I froze out there. People got hurt. People escaped you saved someone, though. because of you. Yeah, yeah. And everyone freezes their first time. I used to throw up before every fight. Barf my guts out. <laughs> really? <laughs> like a fire hydrant. You'll get used to it. The fights, not the barfing. 
Maybe that was a message to the audience. There's a lot of barfing in this show. Mark is crushing it right now with the ability to find all these people who give him these beautiful talks. Uh, I feel like this is the start of something just, beautiful. It wasn't what I expected. I figured yeah, I'd yeah. punch some aliens. It never is. They'd go home. Not how it looks on TV. Right. Nothing's ever as you expect it to be. It's always the intangibles that get you. I, I feel like he does need this. He needs, like, companionship or something. Time runs faster wherever they come from. They ran off because, because they, they were, were dying of old age. Oh, interesting. How did that new kid do? Invincible? He has promise, but he seems unprepared for the more realistic aspects of superhero. Well, he'd better toughen up. We're gonna need his help. Why? He knows, right? Or at least he fears. I know you're there. Wasn't hiding. Is this Hellboy? <laughs> Sir, who the Damien Darkblood, demon detective. Excuse me, Damien Darkblood. This is a very interesting power. You got a problem with a demon? Thought you were an atheist, Donald. The theoretically. <laughs> and I took that personally. I let him hit me until he gets bored and goes home. Hmm. Nice. Doesn't He'll sound as cool if you don't know he's a superhero. Unfortunately, but okay. neither will your face. Yeah. Eh, people always told me I was too pretty anyway. <laughs> I gotta run. He's getting slick. Look at him. <laughs> Who would have thought that being a superhero would raise your confidence? <laughs> uh oh. Someone's jealous. Look at that. That's when I realized I was in love with Mark Grayson. <laughs> yep, this is the start of something, isn't it? Follow me. Going back to her place on the first date, huh, Mark? Babe. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Mark. She's not into him, though, you can tell. She's, um, mentally, she's not all there in this relationship. Apologies for Rexplode. He's... Unbelievably awesome. Incorrigible. And rude. And bored of this. Oh, my God. Since the Guardians are apparently indisposed. Invincible, may we count on you in the future? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. You sure you want my help? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> of course. He's not. Just text me, I guess. Oh, right, you need my number. This is good. They were all pretty cool. Except Rexplode. I do not know what that guy's problem is. Well, his problem is he's the boyfriend of a girl you like, so... TV laws say he must be a jerk. I've been so focused on your data that I've forgotten about you. Are you okay? Donald said you saved a lot of lives. Yeah, it was just, uh, harder than I thought. Dad didn't talk about this part of being a superhero. Your dad's good at a lot of things. Talking about his feelings isn't one of them. You know, he just bottles them all up, and then one day he just explodes and kills all the Justice League in spectacular fashion. She'll be okay. Well, it's too soon to tell, but I hope so. Yeah, he's got so much riding on her, her survival. It's like the one thing he did. Just wanting to feel like he did something at least. He did something good. That it wasn't all for nothing. And maybe even that he didn't somehow make it worse by being there. About this new team that Mark's joined, I, I can't help but wonder if Omni-Man's goal isn't to like systematically eradicate other heroes. You might see that becoming an, an issue between them. Is this supposed to be doing that? It's Robot's Machine. They're coming back. She already has a boyfriend. So? You can be more awesome than him and take his place. That's how dating works. <laughs> I was not wrong. Not totally wrong. Is Mark dating Eve Wilkins? I wish. I I mean, no. Definitely not. She's got a boyfriend. He is super available. Want his number? I'll write it down for you. See, this guy's a good friend, ultimately. Where are you guys coming from? Um, we go to the same high school, Rex. Uh-oh. Oh, you do, do you? Um, Rex such a jerk. Yeah, we do. Must be nice. You know who never got to go to high school? Me. We know. It shows. <laughs> Hopefully they learned their lesson this time about aging. They really did not do their research the first time, did they? Nice. I love her powers. There you go. to have spent their time wisely. Ah! Yep, they're prepared.
Um, um. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This guy's had a tough life, huh? Oops. And that was it. 49,000 kilohertz. Nice. Keep them off. Wow. Genius. Oh no. Oh my god, that must be so horrifying. It'd be like aging years every step you take. He he's still alive, this guy? I got mad, I guess. Don't get me wrong. That was amazing, but also the scariest thing I've ever seen. Just don't ever point that at me, okay? Don't listen to Rex. You did great. That's what I said, Eve. Ugh, God, my back. Well, he made the right choice, but he's got that anger, the family anger, it seems. What kind of character will Mark be, I wonder? There's a lot of ways it could go. I gotta go. Oh no, that's fine. We'll handle the cleanup. Asshole! This guy seems like the type of person to yell Admiral Choi. You know what I mean? Mark. Hey, son. Hey, you're you're awake. <laughs> Mom says you've been keeping the planet safe for me. Mom's exaggerating. He saved Tell an old lady, potentially. Everything. And if Omni Man does want to destroy all the heroes, that means he'll probably try to recruit Mark for that task. Did you make it? What hospital did they move Maya to? Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Damn it. No, they, they said she'd recover. They said it was too early to know, didn't they? Hey, I need my costume back. I don't care how torn up it is. It's classified, and I want it back. Go get it. Now. Oof. That wasn't very nice. You can tell a lot about people by the way they treat workers. You know what I mean? Or people who are not in positions of authority over them. Don't hit me where I am. Hit me where I am. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. You know, you uh -oh. have to be able He's to He's going to give it back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Mommy saved you. You're still injured. I'll go. No, okay. you don't know who what? even who it is. Why not? He's not that tough. Mark can take him. <laughs> oh, wonderful. That's your solution. I don't know, I kind of like that. How do I breathe in space? That's the neat thing. You don't. It just gets better and better. It's uh yeah, there he is. You shaved your mustache. Stay away from my planet. You're communicating telepathically? Your moon is that way. A lot of people just lost television service. That's true evil right there. That's what you call protecting your planet? <laughs> Stand for your people. You're the same guy. I fought here three what? years ago. No, I'm not the same guy. <laughs> I feel like they're getting along pretty well for, you know, people who are battling. Hold on, I don't, I don't, I want to talk. Are you using your timeout? I get a time out? You get a timeout? Yeah. Are we becoming friends? Are we friends now? Maybe this guy just wants someone to pay attention to him? Like all of us? Alright, um, I'm an evaluation officer for the Coalition of Planets. <laughs> this is bizarre. Big balls like yours to make sure there's someone capable of defending them. Oh, it's sort of a noble goal in a weird way, I guess. See? Request from Urath for evaluation. Urath? This is <laughs> No. Reading is not his, not his superpower. I get it. I mean, English spelling, it's, it's, it's tough. It can be a nightmare. E. Well, we all learned something today, didn't we? Invincible. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Little optimistic, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone has the same I reaction. You I think you're quite invincible. Yeah, English not... Yeah, okay. Well, that was a good experience overall. Got to go to space, made a new friend. Wow. Cool. He's always so like un underwhelmed by the most amazing things. I got a distress call from the guardians, but when I mm -hmm. arrived, everything seemed fine. Mm -hmm. Then the lights went out and someone attacked me. I fought with them until I passed out. Woke up in your hospital. That's it. That's it. Not a lot of details about that someone. What do you mean fought with someone? Someone thinks they're too clever for us. They all think that at first. That felt like a challenge to me in a way. <laughs> Is it the aliens again? They just don't learn or give up. Shut it, Grayson. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I kicked your ass. I, I don't know what you're saying. 
Amber Bennett also wants to know if you'd like her number. What? Do you want Amber's phone number, nerd? Yes, but what's happening? You... Because she found some old photos of me, okay? Photos she said she oh. would if I did this one stupid thing and then never talked to you again. Oh. Have a crappy life with her. Suck. You really showed him, Todd. <laughs> Amber's getting a little aggressive here. How old is this guy? Robot's got bad news, everybody. Did you hear that? <laughs> hey, robot, what's the bad news? There are too many of them. Their technology has advanced too far, and they've rendered themselves immune to our time stream. What do they even want? <laughs> But, I mean, um, Omni-Man is around now, no? That should take care of it. Is this too small fry for him? Oh, he learned some English, at least, in his 400 decades of existence. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I'm sure, the, you know, those mini little lasers killed him. My turn. <laughs> He's back. He might just kill him though. Oh, well, that was the end of their planet. Dad saved us from the Flaxons, but he went into one of their portals. I don't oh. think you'll be seeing any more so Flaxons for a while. <laughs> She's a weird way of coping. I'm sure he's explaining nicely why they should leave us alone. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's happening. You don't seem to understand. Earth isn't yours to conquer. Yeah, like. You kind of brought this on yourselves. How many times are you going to try? He seems to love it. It's off the radar, right? He can do whatever the hell he wants. You can tell a lot about someone's true character when they have the ability to exterminate an alien planet. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> the guardians of the globe are dead. Are we gonna get an end credit scene? I'm a little bit nervous now. Get the precedent has been set. <laughs> now. Tell the French president we have it covered. I need the room now. Hellboy's back. Killer must be one of them. One of them. And you mention your idiotic thoughts to anyone, and I mean anybody. Yeah, I'll make this sure thought is sort of you too terrifying me? to even entertain. Now get out. Get out. I get it. Um, blind old. No, I think he knows on some level already. I think he knew from the beginning on some level. Sir? He's just fighting it. The killer's still out there, Donald. Might decide to finish the job. I think it's one of those cases where, like, he seems like a smart guy and he probably has a, a hunch that something weird went down. It feels to me like he suspects Omni-Man on some level, but sometimes when the truth is that terrifying, you will, like, fight it as long as you can, as long as you can plausibly try to accept other theories. Because by accepting that as a possibility, it means making Omni-Man an enemy. And even in the super rare case that you are able to defeat him or capture him or whatever, you're now out a world guardian, a Superman level guardian. Do you want to be responsible for that? You know, like you can even imagine some people rationalizing it to themselves that it's it's okay just because of how great for the world Omni-Man seems to be. I've got to say that having had no expectations of the show really and not knowing what it was about, I sort of love this ultra realist take on the superhero thing. Cause yeah, it would be carnage. It would be failure. There would be superhero infighting. It isn't heroes and villains in neat categories. One thing I'm wondering about this episode is it seems like the episodes start with a conversation both of these episodes happen to be with uh, our boy Steve, and then that reflects a, a sort of theme of the episode. Like, the first episode maybe was about raising kids into adulthood, taking them under your wing and being proud of them. Will they be able to end up on the same side? And then in this one, it starts with them talking about how it's about power, it's about a symbol, right? And about how the palace is a symbol of ruler versus subject. There might be something there about, like, one's reign, or Omni-Man ruling over subjects, let's say. He seems to have that arrogant streak where he thinks he should not be stood up to. It makes him angry to be contradicted as if other people have the right to disagree with him or object to anything he does. We've seen him do that with his, his wife, most notably, and then in this episode with the nurse. So we'll see if Steve keeps making appearances or if, you know, there's something like that each episode where they kind of lay down an idea in the beginning. But yeah, that's it for episode two. We're already a, a quarter of the way through season one. So I'll see you next time for episode three when Mark has to decide between multiple girlfriends.